recording it for content sake because you never know what this will eventually turn into and it'd be nice to have it documented um, so people can see like how this thing developed. All right, brother man, we here. The people can see you. Word. Can I, can I focus it on you? Hold on, let me see. Yeah, that. there you go. Hi, Paul. There you go. What's up? Oh, gosh. Nicole, what? this is going on. This is a video. You can edit this out. I know. Uh, oh, right. man. All right. Let's focus back on me since this is all about me anyway. My main thing is this. If we do it, like, we have to bring the heat with it. Meaning that the intensity. Yeah, it, it has to be intense. Like the one platform that we have right now that we can use for free is social media. But in order to get noticed on social media, like we have like you kinda have to be able to capture people's attention. And now truthfully, naturally, myself, yourself, and my boy Randall that I'm planning on um, bringing on, we'll probably be the core for this. All of us are naturally, like, cool, calm, and collected. Yeah. Um, but I do know that when we are in discussion mode, especially when we're in discussions about things that um, matter to us, like, the, the energy can begin to come out, and we can somewhat even be intentional about that. So the key thing, in my opinion, is going to be, like, when we record, when we do these videos, when we, when we bring up these things, we all have to make sure that we are at at a very heightened level um um yeah yeah and we, it, it's one of those things where sometimes we might not even be right about a particular um issue that we're discussing but it's not necessarily about being right there in the moment because we can always you know we're, just, we're gonna go based off of information that we know at that moment that we can always have a later show if we know that there's something that we need to address in a in a in a discussion or in a in a previous conversation but um the idea that i have is that we'll be talking about we're going to talk about everything that pertains to black young men from dating to marriage to um to um finances to home ownership uh getting an apartment you know, education, the cost of education, all that type of stuff, student loans, how to know what to major in, uh, entrepreneurship, how to handle yourself on the job, you know, how to just handle yourself in life. And it's not like we just have, we have to talk about those directly all the time. It could be, we can get into it like using interesting entry points. So we can get into it by doing something like saying, okay, let's talk about Kevin Durant going to the um Kevin Durant going to the Golden State Warriors and what does like we can talk about that what are our thoughts on it but then what are principles that we get from it that actually apply to our everyday lives um um we can talk about this issue that's going on with um you know the 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 young man the two young men really the the past couple of days that were killed and um Mm -hmm. Her names are Alton you can talk. You can, what, what are their names? Alton Sterling and Philando Castile. Alton Sterling and Philando Castile. Philando Castile. Right? And, um, yeah, so we, we can talk about those two gentlemen and then also, you know, all of the gentlemen that we know who were killed previously, you know, and, um, and, and just make our voice heard. You know, let's try to empower our people through it, not just blast out like oh this was wrong and that's that but okay that was wrong what do we learn from that so that we can grow so that we can do better as a people um so that we don't have to find ourselves in those situations anymore without having to without worrying about other people changing you know what do we change or, or what do we do so yeah just kind of have a conversation 
conversation, starting a dialogue. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. How would you want to be in? I really, I, I want it to be, I don't want it to be too much of a controlled, controlled format. And what I mean by that is, sometimes, it's, you know, with my, with my, especially with my shows where I'm talking and it's just me, like I designed it to be like very nicely edited, all the rough edges are taken out. But I somewhat like the, I like the format that Gary Vaynerchuk uses, where you kind of, be, because you kind of get to see the mistakes and all of that in there, it's almost like you get a chance to see the people as they are, as human beings. I feel like you get to relate to them more as actual people. Um, you know, they might be talking about a subject, and then all of a sudden something happens, and they go on a tangent for a little while, where and the tangent might just be let them cracking jokes on each other for some like, for a little while, or something like that. I want yeah. that to be able to be seen in the um, video, so that people can get the sense that like, yo, we we are regular people like you all, and we're inviting you into our space to join us in um in this movement, you know, to join us in this conversation, and to take this information back wherever it is that you go. Yeah. Uh... I'm thinking if we want to have if we want to have gain traction then people have to see us regularly enough that their attention is kept you know but again that also plays into making sure that we're doing stuff that captures the attention because without the attention then we're just talking nobody's seeing anything so um, what I would like to do is once a week that'll be the start now my vision is that we would get to the point where we could even be doing something at a couple of times a week who knows even every day but of course that might be who knows that might not be two until two years from now something like that right the but if we get to the point where um and i'm claiming it right now where we get to a hundred thousand followers two hundred thousand followers three hundred thousand four hundred thousand and it's become a significant enough movement that warrants us to do more and more content that we can do that but at least we can do this once a week and then what i can always do is i'll still do videos of just myself you know for just a couple of minutes just sharing a thought or what have you yeah yeah how long actually that's uh, that was my next question um how does the session be i want it to be short enough that people can will actually listen to it but long enough that real content can be um can can get in there so i'm thinking it when i look at a lot of like pastors right now who are on the cutting edge of technology what have you i'm noticing a lot of them doing sermons for, for some reason like specifically at 28 minutes and 30 seconds when i look at gary vaynerchuk's videos a lot of his videos are at 27 minutes, right? So I'm thinking in the vicinity of 25 to 30 minutes. Yeah. 25 to 30. And we just, and, and from jump, we just, from the, immediately we're on top of it, strong content from the jump so that they're captured and they want to continue uh, watching through until the end. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that sounds pretty cool, man. I'm not uh, opposed to that at all. <clears throat> It'd be nice to get, uh, like, a, maybe a female perspective, too. Oh, absolutely. And that's part of the plan. The, the, the plan that I have, and, like, remember, this is not going to be a show designed to be some neat cookie-cutter show, yeah. right? It's going to be designed to where Nicole, like she was just now, might be in the room also. Avonik, babe. No, his wife. Oh, Magdala. Magdala. She stay calling your wife Avila. Cause I have another name, friend named Paul, whose wife's name is Avila. Mm. So yeah, so like I don't mind it being like we might be in a room. It might the camera might be predominantly on us, but Nicole might be in the room also just doing something on her own. But she might have something to say, and we pan the camera to where she is, and she give her thoughts or what have you. Like that's perfectly okay to me. Mm. You know? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So and then also there'll be times where 
will bring um, women onto the show. We'll bring other people that we know onto the show. What have we'll interview? We can interview. As, I, I'm thinking the same way Gary V has a bunch of shows where it's just him, but then there's a bunch of shows where he's bringing in other people and talking with them about their journeys or what have you, getting their insight, how they built what they built, etc., and how other people can build what they are building. Um, then we can also look at the model that that the Breakfast Club has set up, where every single show they're bringing on somebody different. You know, um, I just we just need to make sure that we know, like, what is the goal of every single one of our shows? What is the goal of our content? Right. And, um, what I is think, the goal of our content? Um, in my opinion, and you can let me know what you think, but I think, in my opinion the goal of our content is really to really to make sure that black lives are that black young men starting with black young men I should say but also permeating the black young woman and therefore the whole black community and not just our community but eventually hopefully that you know um, being a catalyst for other communities also including white communities, but my hope is that starting with black young men, we would help them to live excellently in every major aspect of their life. Really, you look ridiculous. <laughs> really, in, in every aspect of their life, um, I want them to have great relationships. I want, them, I want us to help to develop ex great families, strong families. I want us to help develop good businessmen, um, help people develop their talents, help people to go to school and get some of the best grades, help people to go, um, you know, to know what major they might want to go into, how do they figure out their purpose, I want to impact people on a spiritual level also, like, you know, um, w w how does spirituality play into their lives, let's talk, we can talk about hip-hop and, um, you know, what changes need to be in there in hip-hop, what, what good do we see coming out of hip-hop still, everything, man. Everything is fair game as long as we're to sports too, um, um, other types of entertainment, movies, everything. As long as we're bringing it back to how is it, how, how are our lives as black young men being taken to the next level? And that and, and it doesn't have to be weighed in finances, right? Finances is one aspect that certainly is important, but. You know what? What are the other rev forms of revenue? You know what I mean. Do how do our relationships look? Um, you know, all that kind of stuff, man. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down with that, man. All right. I think. Uh, yeah, I think like you said. I think education is a big part of what needs to happen mm -hmm. in communities. And uh, so I think in our way we can kind of, you know, do our part to kind of educate the next generation, the young black men growing up particularly. And um, in all aspects, like you said, you know, finding this relationships, education. <clears throat> and, uh, you know, just kind of talk from our experiences. Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. I think it'd be good to get people you know, with kind of varying backgrounds mm -hmm. that are still, you know, striving for success mm -hmm. just to be able to, mm -hmm. you know, provide different perspectives. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I think we have a strong... <laughs> Don't interrupt me. You love to do that. Don't worry. Go ahead. Continue. All right. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. I, I was just going to say, Master, that... We have a strong pool that we can draw from. Yes. Yeah. Strong pool. Um, so we'll have to figure out how do we tap into all of those resources. So, yeah, I think it's good. We got to figure out where we would like to do it. Um, what are our, our options? We want to make sure that it's somewhere that looks nice. Um, yeah. And, it, I mean, when I say looks nice, it doesn't have to look like like some extravagant thing but it just gotta look like we just want it to be a nice presentation when people see it 
Um, so we'll figure that out, whether it's at somebody's house or whether it's at a school or something. We just need a space. So we'll look into that. Um, then we got to set, like, what might be the best day to record. You know, and then what days do we want to release all of our content? I said, okay. <laughs> Come, get it together, man. Get it together. Make it too much noise. Sorry, man. Yeah, so we can figure that out what days are going to be good for everybody. Yeah. I mean, if we start with the summer, I'm pretty much good any day. <laughs> I'll check with Randall on that. Who's this Randall character? Randall, he goes to RPC frequently. Um, but uh, he uh, he works for University of Maryland. He's like a student coach or a student advisor, something like that. Um, so he, has, he actually works a lot with black young men uh, through his position that a lot at like that college age. So right. that's gonna be a good ground, and that 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 actually brings up another point. Like, so we gotta. So again, one of the things that we're gonna have to do is be very intentional about figuring out who can we get this stuff out to, and who can also be champions of this thing, right? So we gonna have to tap into our network that we can um, kind of rely on, and like say, listen, y'all. We trying to get this information out here. We trying to take this thing to the next level. We're trying to be the best show out there of this type of content on YouTube and in social media. Period. Um, so we need y'all to watch it, even if this ain't your thing. Just because of the relationship that we have, we just need you to watch it, and we need you to share it every single week. Watch it, share it. Watch it, share it. So that it begins to spread to other people so that we can at least have, I don't know, if, if we can start off with a goal of 50 views per week, you know, per video, that's at least a start. Then continually gain traction up to, you know, maybe 100. And then if we can go from 100 to then, let's say, 250 on a consistent basis, then from 250 to 500 on a consistent basis, then from 500 to 1,000 on a consistent basis. We can get up to that number a thousand on a consistent basis, and then we push and, and lay into that market even harder. Man, I think we can make some powerful things happen. But we're gonna have to be real intentional about. It. And then we can take over the world. That's what it is, baby. Her head's big like Pinky in the brain. <laughs> she said you got a big head. Do not speak unless spoken to. <laughs> I hope you're looking at the mirror while you're saying that. <laughs> she says she hopes you're looking at the mirror while you're saying that. Because <laughs> <laughs> she's going to get no air time, man. Don't worry. I don't mind. She I don't mind. She's going to run up in the show. We're going to have to do so many retakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, 